Hi, this is George, and in this video I'm going to give you my best tips about how to get empowered about the technology that can that you use that you want to use online okay and this is really important because um, we have a very limited amount of time together in this coaching program and I will tell you the most valuable things you can do with me is not for me to handhold you through learning some technology because there are because what my specialties are is actually the business the marketing strategies that are both conscious uh, values based and effective that's much harder to find online than it is to find technology how-to videos and technology articles and tutorials so our most valuable time together is for for you to be learning this kind of stuff from me business and marketing stuff not the technology stuff so I want to empower you to learn technology uh, when you don't have me looking over your shoulder okay okay so um, here's a perspective is that uh, especially if you're not if you don't feel yourself tech savvy uh, really all the technology that I'm suggesting for you to build your business online you can you can actually learn it yourself um, you can you can delegate to delegate it to other people but if you delegate it to some uh, competent help it's gonna cost you probably at least a thousand dollars a month to run your business in terms of the technology side of things um, you know I mean you could find it for less if you outsource it to other countries um, but you know it's it's not cheap so uh, and when, even when you outsource it to other countries they're they're gonna you know for, for or for outsource for less than this they're probably gonna make a lot of mistakes and you'll probably be very frustrated uh, I've, I've experienced that in the past um, in many years of hiring different folks for to help you know so if you can commit to at least learning some of it you're gonna save yourself a lot of time and a lot of money it's gonna save yourself a lot of time because you're gonna you don't have to depend on someone you ask someone else on, on your team to do do something and then they, it takes them overnight to do it or two or three days to do it you can learn it yourself and actually do a lot of it yourself of course some some more advanced stuff like you know coding a website or just doing graphic design that kind of stuff obviously you can outsource and it's a good idea to outsource but a lot of the stuff we can do setting up websites etc you can actually learn you know on your own so the first solution to learning any tech online technology is to use YouTube Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to do it. When you go to YouTube, you're going to you're going to have to figure out what to search for, and this is my formula to what to search for. Whatever you're trying to learn, and then use the word tutorial, and then type in the word O R in capital letters, and then type in the word using all capital letters and how to. So this is um, the O R uh, is a an operator in the search uh, term, so that you you're searching whatever you want to learn tutorial or whatever you want to learn using or whatever you want to learn how to that's what this or is for so I'm just gonna copy this okay I don't have to copy what to learn well I'll, I'll copy that too and I'll go to YouTube and let's for example if I'm learning I'm um, if I want to learn how to use Google Hangouts I love Google hang especially Google Hangouts on air is great for uh, spreading your message through video automatically so here when you've gone to YouTube the search box for YouTube is located to the right sorry about this uh -huh. uh, the search box for YouTube is to the right of the YouTube logo so look for that click on it and then start and paste in my whoops that, that didn't work let me paste in my formula that I've copied let me let me do this again here copy this formula I'm going to right click, I'm going to click copy, I'm going to go to YouTube, I'm going to click right click, I'm going to click paste. Okay, so so what, what you need to edit out is what to learn. So I'm going to say, I'm trying to learn Google Hangouts on Air. So I'm going to say Google Hangouts on Air. And then just leave the rest as is and then click search. Okay, and look at this. These are, these are, um, these are uh, 844,000 results. Google Hangout on Air tutorial, um, three minutes, about four minutes long. Another uh, Hangout on Air tutorial, about 16 minutes long, etc., etc. I mean, look at all of these free tutorials, okay? And and let me give you an advanced way to filter them so that you can find better ones. Click filter, and you can either filter by upload date. So let's say you want to. I don't recommend last hour or today or even this week because that's that's too few. I would say this month is a really good filter. So let me click this again. I clicked on filters after I searched, right? 
I click filter, I click this week. I'm going to click on it. Okay, now it's only showing me Google Hangouts on Air tutorials that were uploaded this week. Actually, I'm sorry, this week is, is okay. It's probably not, not the highest quality, so I'm, I'm actually going to filter. I'm, I just X'd it out. I'm going to filter by um, this month. I'm sorry, this month is actually a better one to use than this week. So this way, this way Google will, will, YouTube will give you the best, what they consider to be the best, meaning the most views or the most likes videos uh, about this, um, about Hangouts on Air or whatever you're trying to search, um, uploaded within a month ago. And if you want to, uh, here's, let me, let me get even more fancy and click on filters. And I'm going to sort, sort by, relevance is, is, is a pretty good sort. Okay, it's, it's generally, it's good to go by relevance, but let's say you want to sort by view count. So this way, you're ensuring that you're watching the most popular ones that were uploaded this month. I'm going to sort by view count. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. So this is the most popular Hangouts on Air, Hangouts tutorial uploaded within a month ago with the most views. So this is probably a pretty good bet because if a video is, is good, it probably, um, you know, gets pretty good gets quite a lot of views, okay, or more views than, than others. So if you find that that's not necessarily true, if you're finding that the, the ones that you're watching on top aren't very good, then you can sort by rating, sort by rating. Okay, and these are basically the, the, um, the videos that, that got the most thumbs up per, per view. So this has got 95 views, maybe, you know, five people gave it a thumbs up versus this one, 292 views. and five people give it a thumbs up, this would be a higher rating because it's more of a higher rating proportion. All right, so that's the first method to um, find anything on YouTube. And by the way, this slideshow link, the link to this slideshow will be available underneath this video. So look at the, look underneath this video and look at the description area and you'll find the link to the slideshow. Okay, next, if, if you can't find the help on, on YouTube or if you don't want to sit there watching a bunch of videos, the faster way of doing it, a faster way of doing it is actually to go to Google. And go to Google and use the same formula, except this time you do minus YouTube.com so that you don't you, 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 you filter out any YouTube uh, uh, results. So I'm going to I'm going to copy this formula and I'm going to go to Google.com. I'm just going to go to Google.com up here. Google.com. Okay. Okay, and uh, here at Google.com, I'm going to paste in the formula. Okay, and then I'm going to to instead of what to learn, I'm going to I'm going to say okay. This time I'm going to say I'm trying to learn how to do Facebook advertising. Okay, Facebook advertising, but I, I want to read articles instead of watching YouTube videos. So I'm going to click search. Actually, it might it might pull up other videos that are outside of YouTube, but anyway, here it is. Uh, you can you can skip the the sponsored av advertised results and scroll down and here are basically what Google considers to be the best results for how to advertise on Facebook. These are all the different um, tutorials and how tos. Okay, so be sure to click through on some of these. Um, uh, you know, I, I would say you know when you're searching on Google, click through a bunch of the results, so kind of at least glance at them. Um, on the first page and the second page, usually that will give you that will give you the best results. First and the second page. Now let's do let's do filtering of the results, just like we did in, in the YouTube, right? So search, click on search tools, and then click on any time, and I'm going to say past month, because like we as we know things in technology change quickly. So I'm going to click past month, and here I'm looking at the best results according to Google about Facebook advertising that have been posted within the past month. So it's, it, it, it uh, guarantees the most freshest uh, content. And again, make sure you go to page two also to look at, look at things. And you can also sort, right? Sort, sort by relevance, sort by date. Okay, those are, actually, that's not, that's not, I would say sort by relevance. Don't sort by date because that might give you some junky results here in Google, okay? Um, so let's go on to the third solution, and <laughs> I want to show you this funny, uh, funny image here. Tech support: What my friends think I do. <laughs> okay, some fancy, you know, thing. What my mom thinks I do. Some f super fancy, like genius. What society thinks I do: sit sit behind a computer answering phones. And 
what my boss thinks I do, you know, sleeping on the job, what I think I do, the coolest futuristic thing, what I actually do is to use Google. Okay, so seriously, most tech support people, if you're asking them for help, if they don't know the answer, they'll probably just go to Google. So you can empower yourself to be as good in tech as a tech support person. By use, this is seriously, every time people ask me questions on, on technology or even on business and marketing, I go to Google and I search for it and I give them the answer and they think I'm so smart. So I've given you the secret to the kingdom, the keys to the kingdom is to do this. Okay, so let's go on. Okay, when you don't know how to, when you don't, when you don't, can't find answers, right? Ask in forums. Now, it's actually, I want to edit this. It's not just, um, it's not just, it's not just our forums, okay? It's not just our forums, um, but there are, um, there are uh, um, other forums. I, I'm, I'm going to write some other links to other forums that, that are helpful for, for asking for help. But really, you can even go to Google and Google, um, you know, whatever thing you're trying to figure out and Google type in the word forum afterwards and you'll find helpful people in online forums willing to answer your questions. Okay, so um, so this is great. And, and uh, another place to find forums is uh, to go to go to Google Plus. Okay, go, log into Google Plus and click on Home on the left hand side and click on commu Hover over Home. Don't click on it, and then click on Communities. And once you're in Communities, click, notice a search box up here, and search for whatever topic you're trying to figure out. Don't, don't use too many words this time. Just use very general words where, where you're trying to figure out. Let's say you're trying to figure out um, online marketing, okay, and press return, okay? And look at this. There's a bunch of forums on online marketing that you can join and ask questions, and you'll probably get people helping you, okay? Um, let's go on to, um, oh, and, and here's a really good practice. Um, Here's a very good pa best practice. I'm just gonna I'm gonna update this best practice. While you are in the forum where you posted a question, okay. Um, after you posted a question, scroll down, read a few posts, and see if you if you can also help someone else out. This is good online forum karma, okay. Seriously, this is what I do. Every time I post a question on a forum, I scroll down and see if I can help someone else out, at least one or two other people. And this, this really builds up my credibility in the forum, so I'm more likely to get better responses in the future. Um, okay, let's go on to the next solution. Hire, hire a tutor. Okay, hire a tutor. Um, hire a tutor. Lots of online websites where you can actually do that, but one of my favorites is odesk.com. You go to odesk.com, okay? And then you should sign up for an account, okay? Sign up for an account is free. But once you, let's say you did sign up for an account, uh, you would then click on hire freelancers. And, and then whatever I'm trying to get help with. So let's say I'm trying to get help with um, uh, the technology I'm trying to learn is uh, how to use Pinterest, okay? I want to use Pinterest. I've heard about great things about it. I don't know how to use it. I want someone to handhold me through Pinterest. So I would search Pinterest and then I click search. <clears throat> so these are all the people. Look at this. So many pages of results. Five and more than five, more than a thousand people who have Pinterest in their who are for hire. This this person is for hire for five dollars fifty six cents an hour. He's located in Bangladesh. That's why he can charge so little okay compared to US uh, compared to US dollars. And he's willing, and he so if he's in, he, if he is, my target is build a career with Odessa as a Pinterest expert, which means he's passionate about it, or at least he knows a lot more about it than 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 most of us do. So you can actually do this. Go there, and you can hire him to say, hey, you know what, um, FM, uh, instead of doing Pinterest work for me, can you can you can you do a screencast with me where you show me your screen or show me my screen, and um, Go through Pinterest together and teach teach it to me. Okay, another person in Macedonia for five five or six dollars an hour, and then what I encourage you to do is um, to look at how many things they've done. This person has done six things already, six in their port. Uh, actually, no, this is their portfolio. 
Oh, they have spent two thousand. They have been hired for over two thousand hours on Odesk by other people. So highly credible on Odesk, and they've gotten five stars or four point eight seven, which is highly credible. Okay, so Odesk is great, and you can scroll down very, very many results. You can even filter. You can filter by people who have four and a half stars or above. Eight hundred twenty-six people. Okay, I just filtered by that. Amazing. You can even filter by how many hours they've built already. Over a thousand hours, over two hundred forty-one people. This is amazing. And if you want to keep it to your country, you can filter by or your continent. You can filter by that so that the time zone is easier. North Americans who have over two hundred forty-five hours uh, or over over a um, thousand hours and who have gotten really great scores. And this is amazing. Nine dollars an hour in the U U.S. Okay, probably happy to tutor you about Pinterest for an hour for nine bucks. Come on, right? This is amazing. So um, another result is to obviously calls with me. So in, in my coaching program, if you have tried some of these other things and you really can't figure it out, of course, ask me on one of my calls. Um, but uh, you know, of course, posting in, in one of my forums, I, I'll probably and I may answer, especially in one of my coaching program forums, I'll probably answer there. But if not, you can come bring it to the call. Okay. And final solution I want to give you is local tutors. You can go to Craigslist.org. Okay. So let me show you Craigslist.org. Okay. And in Craigslist, you um, <laughs> you go to whatever uh, city, whatever metro, major metro area. So let's say I'm in Tennessee. I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm going to click on Knoxville, Tennessee. And in Knoxville, Tennessee, I'm going to look for services and I'm going to look for um, computer services. Okay? Computer services. And I'm going to search. Uh, if I'm looking for someone who's good at Pinterest, I'm going to search Pinterest and click search. Okay? Um, okay, this is actually not very helpful. Let me see here. Uh, let me go back to Knoxville and I'm going to search um, actually I'm going to search yeah you can search in computer or you can search in resumes okay resumes Pinterest click search small local okay um, oh this is a foot photography person so probably not right well anyway it's a little bit harder of course to find um, local tutors but discussion forums okay computer discussion forum this is another great place to kind of post post your um, post your question people aren't necessarily the nicest people okay so the other another solution for hiring local tutor uh, google.com whatever you're trying to find in classifieds but go to your local or co contact your local community college because their professors computer professors may be able to point you to uh, other excellent resources or to their own students who, whom you can hire okay so I hope I know this video went a little longer than I expected but I, I sincerely believe and no, not just believe, but no, I've because I've I've taught this to other clients and they've been they they've just it's changed their life. So please watch this video again and try each of these things. No, really, watch this video again if you need to, or just go to the slideshow and try. Actually try it. You won't learn it until you actually have muscle memory and try it out. So try each of these techniques and you will find yourself opened up to a whole new world of of empowerment. So I wish you the very best. Thank you.